Okay, folks. So I'm here in Newton St. Sire's churchyard and a uh, bit quite a difficult subject to do, quite complicated, which is probably my inclination normal. And I'm um, doing an acrylic sketch today, beautiful sunlight, bird songs, etc. So without further ado, we'll get going with it. So I primed my sketchbook page with uh, an orange acrylic wash, uh, which shows through nicely. And um, even though I obscure it all, it gives the paint a nice glow. Um, I blocked in the larger forms and shapes, which is a really good way of simplifying the scene in the first instance, rather than getting bogged down with tiny details, which you can easily do with a complicated scene like this, especially when everything's so small. You'll notice that I overpaint certain areas more than once, such as the light in the grass in the foreground. Um, the greeny yellow needs to be very strong and represent the sunlight falling upon the grass. So as yellow is quite a weak pigment, um, it needs building up quite a lot. And that's uh, why you'll see it happening several times. Also, the light changes on the facade of the church several times and I need to keep altering and adding shadows and different features as things develop. The simple start I made means that large forms are already established and then details seem to fall into place much more accurately rather than fussing at the beginning and trying to get things pinned down. So look for those big shapes and then look for smaller shapes within them and gradually work into each of those shapes until you arrive where you want to. It makes the process much more pleasurable and is a much more successful way of doing certainly our prima work like this. So we're going to pack up now and uh, we've had a great afternoon's painting. So about two and a half hours. The light's gone now and uh, even though it's quite a complicated subject we managed to get quite a lot done. Um, it's been quite busy in the churchyard today, quite a few people around and um, it all makes it very interesting. The light's been changing all the time as ever uh, but when you're trying to catch sunlight you've got to expect it to change so you've got to remember it and make the most and enhance certain parts where you want your centre of focus to be. So um, I've enjoyed myself, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you next time.